Welcome back to Nuts and Bolts Torqued. It's time to finally build our underwater base for Batania using the bubble flowers. I'm really excited for how this is going to turn out. I think it's going to be super cool. And before I go any further, I want to mention, because I keep forgetting this, um, the, the actual idea for making the underwater base with Batania using the bubble flowers actually came from my girlfriend. So shout outs to my girlfriend for coming up with the idea. So, um, before recording this episode, I made a bunch of things. So I made a ton of agricarnations. Of course, we're not going to actually use that in making the base just yet, but for later on, once we're trying to get our farm up and going, I, of course, made the bubble flowers. I also made them floating. Because they look cooler, plus the big advantage is that they won't wash away, so I think I'll be able to place these underwater while the water's still there, and they should be okay. Um, oh, yes, and I also made... Uh, I didn't make the elven mana spreaders, but I made everything I need to make them. So I made a bunch of elementium, which was just a bunch of mana steel into the elven trade. Two for one. And I also made a bunch of dream wood, which again is the wild wood from roots put into the elven trade. So for the wild wood, I just made two big batches of it. Remember how it said if you put any logs around the ritual table, the crafting altar, or casting altar rather, if it's within three of it, it would turn it into wildwood. Well, it turns out that also counts vertical space. So I just did the same thing I did before on the floor and then just built up, made a huge cube of wood and then did the ritual. So I ended up with like three stacks of wildwood. Wasn't that big of a deal. So I'm all ready to do a bunch of cool mana stuff. I've never used the bubble flowers before. I think they clear out a circle, or a, a bubble rather, um, a ball, either 12 blocks in radius or 16, I think. I guess we'll find out. All right, so I've got the bubbles. Uh, I'm also going to need mana pools, of course. I also have a charged mana tablet, so I'm going to use that to charge the mana pool to begin with. Hopefully I can just place the mana pool underwater and then place the mana tablet in it to fill it up. We'll see if that works. And I'm sure there's a million items you can use to breathe underwater and stuff, but I, I've i never made any item like that. So for now, I'm just going to try to go to the bottom of the ocean, I guess. It's probably going to be super dark down there. It's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be pitch black, I think, actually, because of the extreme darkness mod. Well, let's just take a look. Ugh. Can't see anything. So, here's the thing. I'm going to want it to be pretty far underwater, so it might have to be a little bit out here where it's deeper because um, I want to make sure it's completely covered in water all around it. I don't want, like, a circle of water on the sides, but then the top is just exposed to the sky. I want it to be completely underwater, which means it needs to be fairly deep. Probably more out here, but it's really hard to tell because I can't see. Um... Let me look and see if I can make any sort of a night vision thing. I think a night vision thing may allow me to see into that pitch darkness. Let me just see. So just by searching for night vision, I found quite a few things. And I think the one I'm going to try to make is the ring of night vision from Actually Editions. So pretty simple stuff. Some golden carrots. I mean, you know, carrots, gold, ring, just this stuff. Relatively simple stuff. Most expensive thing is the diamantine crystal block, so that's nine, uh, nine diamonds put through the atomic reconstructor. But got it all, and let's try it. There is another level of it. There's a level two. Hopefully, level one night vision is enough. I don't know. I've never used night vision before. Oops. Uh, I guess I got rid of. Got to get rid of that. Where does it go? Hmm. Huh? Oh. No, that's <laughs> that's my second hand. Uh, do you not wear it? I mean, it's a ring. What? Do I hold it in my hand? Oh, yeah. Oh, you just, yeah, you hold it and then it gives you the effect. If you look at the top left, night vision 15 seconds, and then if you stop holding it, it starts to count down. Okay. Well, that's, hmm, I wish I could wear it, but I guess this is good enough. What an improvement. So, yeah, somewhere deep. This is definitely not deep enough. Down 
down here would be pretty cool. Although I do have to keep in mind that I want it to be sort of flat. Although looking at this, I don't think anywhere is going to be flat. I guess I could flatten it out, huh? But would I want to? Because if I flatten it out, I'm going to get rid of... Oh, whoa. Oh, that looks so weird. That looks so weird. How strange, these colors. I might have night vision, but I'm still going to drown. <laughs> um, yeah, if I flatten it out, I'm going to get rid of all this kelp. And I don't know, maybe I want the kelp? Well, actually, the kelp's going to totally be in the way. I'm going to have to get rid of it anyway. So this is going to be fine. Yeah, this is good. Okay. So let's be fast. Let's get all of this on my bar. So... Oh god, go down faster. I'm probably going to drown a little bit, that's fine. I've got a lot of health. So, place that down. Um, we'll want to charge it, put that in there. Okay, it's filling up. Good, good, good. Okay, now that it's getting some mana, I should be able to put the floating bubble down and... Oh, god, that is terrifying when it's completely dark. And as soon as I put it down, it should start to make an air bubble. I'm excited to see how this is going to work. I've never used it before. Although, the, oh no, the poor squids. What happens to a squid when it gets out of water? In reality, it would die, but is that what happens in Minecraft? I'm sorry, squid. That looks very strange as it is right now. I think it's the night vision making stuff look weird. Let's get rid of that for a second and place down some torches. Oh no, squid. Get back in the water. What are you doing? Oh no! No, 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 no! Get in the water! Get in the water! What are you... Ah, oh. It's teleporting all over the place. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of light. Oh, the kelp disappears when it has no water? Okay. How are we looking on light? Don't want anything nasty to spawn. Okay. And we're safe. This is really cool. I mean, look, there's a, there's a squid above our base. And you can see there's a pretty good layer of water, too. Oh, let's make it daytime. Let's see, how does it look from up here? Looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like a glass dome. Whoa. Gotta get used to that. You go through water, and then as soon as you pop through, suddenly you fall. No, squid! Oh. Am I going to have squid raining down on me all the time? They just... I can't really move them. They, like, pop back. Oh. Whoa, what? I don't get it. Yeah, this is super cool looking. I wish it was a little... Like, I wish I could see what's above me a little bit more clear. It seems oddly dark. I don't feel like it would actually be that dark down there. It's probably because of the Extreme Darkness mod. But it's still pretty cool. I think if I get rid of this kelp, the water will take... Yeah, looks a lot better because, you know, anytime you have a single block of something in a space, it get rid gets rid of all water. So if you have this, it just looks like there's... I don't know, it just looks broken. But if you get rid of that, it looks a lot better. I wonder if kelp has a use. Let's get rid of all of it. See how our nice bubble looks. That is really cool. And you know what I think I'll do? Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. Not just right now, but later. Everything is like pitch black directly outside of our bubble. But I think what I can do is I can find some sort of a light source that can be underwater, something other than a torch. And if I place them around all this kelp, I think we'll be able to see the kelp, you know, outside of the bubble. 
And I think it would look even cooler. But yeah, this is so cool. So what is the radius? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So like twelve, I guess. Eleven. Okay. So this is definitely not going to be enough room, but I also kind of want to keep them as perfect perfect orbs, at least as perfect as orbs represented by large cubes can be. Uh, but I think rather than making one large orb, I th think what I'm going to do is probably make it sort of like... I'm thinking something like this. you got the center orb, and then you got like four chambers off to all the cardinal directions with a little kind of doorway of air in between them. I think that'd be pretty cool. I was also thinking it'd be really nice to be able to breathe underwater, so I just searched for scuba, and I found this scuba tank from Mechanism. The recipe for it was super cheap, stuff I just already had. I made it, and of course it needs to be filled with oxygen, but that's no problem because we have the electrolytic separator which already makes oxygen. So I just plopped it in there, and as you can see it's full. Let's go try it. I'm assuming you just put it on like a chest piece. I hope. Oh, right, that means I won't have a backpack. Or a jetpack, I mean. Well, I guess it's not that big of a deal in water, because you can swim. So, let's see. Probably should put my Ring of Night Vision on. God, that looks so weird. <laughs> Why is the night vision... Oh, go away. Uh, wait. Okay, it's not working. Hmm. It does say flowing no. How do I make it flow? Do I need... I guess I need some sort of a mask, right? Let me go check. Ah, uh, here we go. It's got to be the gas mask, right? All right. wonder if I have to turn on the flow or if it just uses it automatically. Can you fill a gas tank with, like, anything and put it on? Like, can I just breathe in hydrogen <laughs> or something? <laughs> It'd be kind of funny. Flowing, no. Still not flowing. Okay, so there's got to be some way to, to activate it. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, there's a armor mode switch key for mechanism. By default, it was assigned to C, which was assigned to so many different things it didn't even work, but I just assigned it to a different key. And, if you don't mind the extremely loud noise. There we go. It's flowing. Why did my toughness just run out? Why does turning on my oxygen make my toughness? Look at my toughness timer on the top left. When I turn it on, it goes down super fast. What's up with that? Huh. Weird. Anyway, it's draining out at a pretty fast rate, but there's so much stored in there, it should be fine. So we could, uh... Yeah. Oh, even let off a bunch of air bubbles. What do I look like? look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I am going to get to work trying to put in the four additional air bubbles. Oh god, that's terrifying. Probably gonna have to flatten the land quite a bit, so let me get to it. Alright, check it out. Everything nice and symmetrical, I think. Looking pretty cool. Let's look at it from above. Oh yeah, I should probably put my jetpack on, huh? I don't think I'll need the gas mask anymore. <laughs> it looks so cool. You can really see it on the map too. I think especially if I get closer down. Come on, map. Boop. There we go. Now you can really see it on the map. Although weirdly enough on the map it looks like they don't join up even though they obviously do. But yeah, this is so cool. I love it. 
All right, now I'm gonna work on flattening everything out and cleaning up the edges to, uh, you know, help making the water look all weird and stuff like that. So let me get to work. All right, I've cleared out all the vegetation on the edges and I also took down all the things that were above the height of the flowers. Now I'm gonna build up from everything that's below the flowers to make everything level. All right, it is all flattened out. Now that already makes it look way, way better, but I also, I want to change all this stuff out, all this floor. So I know a long time ago I said I was going to make some sort of like conversion wand that would allow me to replace the material that is already there, kind of uh, swap it with another block. And I know I still have to do that for the canola generating room. Um, but let's try it here. So there's a bunch of different ways we can do this. There's a bunch of different wands and stuff that would accomplish this. I'm going to try the astral sorcery run. At least I think that's what this wand does, the conversion wand. Um, relatively simple recipe. Some diamonds, some rune marble, and stardust. Very easy to make. Let's try it out. What is that in the top left? Is that some sort of power source? I was wondering if it had, like, you know, a power source. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Well, before we start doing that, let's select what we want. So I want it to look earthy and nice. You know, Batania, natural, earthy. I kind of like dirt, but I want different dirt. So let's actually make a chiseled dirt. <laughs> Happy souls, I guess it's the counterpart to soul sand. Laughing faces. Still creepy, though. So what kind of stuff might look good? Dirt bricks. Bunch of different brick types. Reinforced cobble dirt. That just looks strange. Brick topped dirt. I guess it would look cool from the side, but probably not from the top. I don't think you even notice it from the top. You'd only see the top part. Hmm. Hmm, streaks aren't bad. Layers, that looks like farmland. Chunky. Oh, that looks very much like farmland. Um, hmm, I don't want it to look like farms, I don't want that, but... Let's try that. What's that look like? Barely looks different. Yeah, that's not different enough. Okay, something else. Maybe bricks. Something's trying to shoot me. I keep getting the guardians coming down and shooting me and they make like floppy fish noises as they, well, flop around. Get out of here. so hard to get. <clears throat> yeah, there's gonna, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of wildlife falling down and dying. I'm sorry, squid. Put you out of your misery. But yeah, the guardians, when they flop down on the ground, they make the most disgusting floppy wet noises as they jump around. Ugh. Anyway. Cobbles? Okay. Maybe small brick. Brick or small brick? I think I like small brick more. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if there's any way to stop that. I don't know. I think... I think there are flowers that create like a sort of force field that repel enemies. Maybe. But I don't know if it would be wide enough to actually encompass this entire space. Yeah, I think I like this. So let me see if I can get this friggin' conversion wand to work. I'm assuming... Yeah, it looks like... So typically how conversion wands work based on what I've seen, although I've never used them even once, is you kind of like sneak right click on whatever you want to be your source block, the, like the thing you are going to replace everything with, and then, yeah, and then there you go. I think that means it's going to replace all of these with the source block. That's... Is it going even deeper? 
Like, is it going... Oh, Christ, I think it's going, like, all the way down. Okay, let's see what happens. Boop. Whew. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is really cool. So, I don't know what this thing in the top left is. It looks like it goes up very, very, very slightly when I replace stuff. What is it, though? Hmm. And it looks like it's going all the way down. Like, not just the top layer. Like, over here, it looks like it's going all the way down, but it doesn't seem like it actually is. If it was, I think it'd be using up way more of my materials. Yeah, this is so cool. This thing's awesome. And very pretty, too. That seems to be the Astral Sorcery way. It doesn't necessarily do things better than other mods, but usually does them prettier. Oh, I'm out. But it's okay, because every time I replace them, I get the dirt block, and I can just take the dirt blocks and convert them into the bricks again. Okay, I made a slight mistake. Um, I accidentally converted the flower for the center into dirt. It converts items, not just blocks. Whoops. I don't think it really affected anything. Other than got, getting rid of all my torches. But if we put that back, it should be fine. Right? Yeah. Back to normal. Whew. That was scary, though. Let me put those torches back. Okay. It's all placed. Looking pretty nice. I did notice one slight problem with my design. It's actually not all quite symmetrical. These all line up. But this one is off. It's to the right by one block. It's not really noticeable though unless you line these up. Just like this, it's kind of like, yeah, it's fine. So pretty minor, I'm not going to go through the trouble of fixing it. It's fine. Okay. Um, what to do now? I'd like to get rid of all these torches. They're really ugly and I'd also like to light up the kind of around spots. Let me see if I can make the Illumination Wand. There is an Illumination Wand in Astral Sorcery, but it does require Resonating Gem, which requires the Starlight Infuser. I have the Infuser itself made, but not the whole a pretty complex multi-block structure, and I need tons of buckets of sunshine, and it would be a whole thing. So I'm going to try, try to make another Illumination Wand. Uh, this one from Not Enough Wands. Um, let's see if we can make it. I have no idea. So we need two wand cores. Oh, blaze rods and gold nuggets. Well, that's easy. I just hope I have enough blaze rods. Oh, I do. Just enough. Alright, well there's, <laughs> there's an illumination wand. I've never used it before, by the way, so I'm I don't know how it works. I'm assuming it just puts, like, a light source that doesn't look like anything other than just producing light. It looks like it probably takes RF. Oh, that's right. I don't really have anything to charge it in, do I? Maybe it can charge in here? No. Ah, here we go. So the basic energy cube can charge it. Alright, let's test this thing out. It says right click to spawn light, and right click it again to remove it. Ah. Illuminating orb. Oh, you can actually just straight up break it, too. And how much power did that use? Oh, oh my god, it just used 40 energy. This thing's gonna last forever. Yeah, this is my new, my new torch. Is that as wide as a torch? Let's test it. So it goes all the way up to one before this tree stump. Mm-hmm. Looks like it's exactly the same. Yeah, I think so. Or very, very close to it. I think this one might be different right here. I think it actually might illuminate further. Yeah, for the torch, this is not illuminated, but with this it is. So I guess the round shape is maybe a little bit different. But pretty much the same. 
Does that look cool enough, though? You know? I mean, it's kind of cool. Okay, just, just to test. Just to see, because Astral Sorcery tends to look really, really good. I'm just going to cheat in just to test once, just to see how the Astral Sorcery one looks. Eh. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's cool that it's more of a particle effect than just, like, a weird orb, but the color of it is so dark. It looks like there's, like, a fire starting there. <laughs> Can I get rid of it? Oh god, what did I just do? Okay, well, I guess that's staying. But yeah, let me delete this. I'm pretty happy with the illuminating wand. Illumination wand. Oh, you can have two lights in one place. Oh, no, I got rid of it. Good. Okay. Well, let me go light up the place. Oh, and let's just test to make sure this works underwater. I don't see why it wouldn't. Ah, oh, crap. It doesn't. Really? I'm really surprised. Hmm. I did some Googling to see if I could find any wide area lighting. You know, something that's significantly larger than a torch's area of lighting, but I couldn't find anything. I don't know if it's some sort of a limitation of the Minecraft, like lighting engine or what. But, let's try these inverted white fixtures from Project Red Illumination. If you remember, I actually used the Project Red Illumination, I think, lanterns inside of the cat house? Hmm. Not bad. I mean, it looks kind of nice, but I don't like that it's a bump on the ground. You know, you can walk through torches, but I can't walk through this. I kind of walk over it. You know, I think this actually looks pretty good. So if I got rid of all the torches, and I just kind of placed them in a regular pattern, so they're not just random and weird. Kind of put them at the edge of every sort of flat place. Looks pretty good. But of course, I didn't cover the center, and I wanted the center to look more, I don't know, less industrial, because these are kind of industrial. And also the fact that they have collision means I like them being kind of on the edge like this, where they're out of the way. But for closer in, I put these illuminating orbs, and I think they look pretty cool. There we go, so I got everything lit up inside, and I also swam around with my scuba tank and everything, and I planted about half, about one dozen of these inverted white fixtures just all around. Just kind of in the ground, outside in the water. Just so that there's like a little bit of light you can see, it's, I wish it illuminated a little bit more. But from inside it at least gives you, at least gives you the impression that, you know, the kelp is kind of alive and doesn't look just totally pitch black. That's kind of a nice effect. Makes it seem a little less gloomy in here. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I love this base already, and I haven't even done anything with it. How am I doing on mana, by the way? Haven't checked in a while. It uses um, a moderate amount of mana, not too much. So I've already refilled all of these once. I just wanted to make sure there's tons of mana in each one so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, my base kind of falling in on itself and flooding while I was building it. So we're doing pretty good. I got plenty of time to set up a farm and get mana generation going on in here. Which, by the way, not to scare you, although it scares me a little bit, I did have to turn off my mana generation back at the base. Uh, because I ran out of bones. Went through all, what was it, like two or three thousand? Yeah. So definitely one of the first things we need to do with our mana is, in our agricarnations, is get a farm up and going for generating mana. Because if I run out of mana and I don't have any mana with which to build up my food supplies to make mana, we're going to have a bit of a problem. So mana generation first, and then I'll worry about uh, the seeds, the canola seeds and stuff. Alright, I just spent a very, very long time making a service tunnel all the way from our main base to the Batania base. So this little pathway down here goes all the way back. Yep. 
even went through this little like underground greenery place. Hit some interesting things. Some lava. It was um interesting. <laughs> I died. But it's fine, we made it. So yeah, I'm gonna use this to run supplies back and forth. Since we're gonna be producing things here and we're also gonna need supplies here, most likely. But base building takes a long time. I've been recording for about 2 hours and 40 minutes, so I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed so far. I'm super happy with this so far. And when I return, I'm going to continue to build this up.